Exciting, lots of great Irish poets coming together for Poetry File on RTE Lyric FM, a collaboration between Poetry Ireland and RTE Lyric FM, which kicks off on Poetry Day. Where did this idea come about? Um, well, the idea of Poetry File was an, uh, to make a collaboration between RTE Lyric FM and Poetry Ireland. And we were trying to find a, a good starting point, and the most obvious and good starting point seemed to be, well, let's go for this Poetry Day. And Poetry Day this year is on April the 27th and Thursday, so Poetry File is uh, where a poet comes on once a week and talks about, reads their own poem and then says how they wrote it or the background to the writing of that poem. So it's trying to engage the listener both with the spoken word and also to get an insight into why and how poems get written. So we, we have an array of poets, like lots of different poets that are going to be coming on uh, every Thursday after the coffee concert um, in the morning time, so about 11 o'clock on a Thursday. Uh, and they will be uh, reading, they, they're very different, I've recorded quite a lot of them at this stage, so they'll be very, they're very different. Um, the subject matter isn't relevant to 11 o'clock in the morning, it's just whatever poems they felt were good for aural. Like, so it, because it's an aural medium, it's like, well, to pick poems of theirs which would work well on radio. So, you know, it's, it's, it's up to them to choose. I had, myself and Poetry Ireland chose the poets initially, and that's obviously tricky, but we're just starting and we said, well, let's just get a, the first bunch in and hopefully this will continue. Um, and then the, the poets come in, read and describe why they've written that poem. Hello, I'm Vaughan O'Gourke, and this is On Seeing Charlotte Bronte's Underwear with My Daughter in Haworth. Are they real? We have pages of kitchen utensils and books and candlesticks and nibs, but the charcoal pencil and new sketch pad are squat as aubergines in her hands in front of this display. It's a fantastic gathering of some of Ireland's best known poetic names, but uh, it struck me hearing this idea and its lovely embedding of uh, poetry within the, within the daily life of the listener. Um, do you think that Ireland is still a poetic nation? We're such a bite-sized society. Does poetry still have a relevance to our daily lives? I think even more so. I think poetry has that ability to be bite-sized, which an awful lot of other art forms don't. So I think that what Poetry File is, is a bite-sized chunk, really, of, of poetry in the daytime schedule, where you will be able to access not just hearing the poet reading their own piece live, which is always lovely to hear a poet reading their own work, because they know exactly how they wanted it to be inflected, etc. And the, But that also you hear why they wrote that piece and what the, the background to it was. Death and the post office. The job they're given is fairly simple. Find the place go in for half an hour and discuss the settlement. Consider, if it's appropriate, the few antiques, the safe, the signs, the switchboard. Glance at the books, the electrics, perhaps fill out some forms, but these owl ones, these cat ones. 